We have finished looking at the integumentary system. We've looked at the nervous system. And now we're going to look at the muscular system. The power to move, the power to live, the power to work. All right, so let's get on with the fun facts about the muscular system. First of all, skeletal muscles always work in pairs, like your bicep pulls your lower arm up and your tricep extends it. Second thing, muscle cells produce enough heat every day to boil almost a liter of water for an hour. A whole liter for almost an hour. That's how much heat's produced by your muscle cells. And number three, you might as well smile because it takes 12 muscles to smile and 11 to frown. So not that much difference. You might as well go ahead and be positive. Number four, your heart beats more than 4,500 times per hour. That is a lot of blood moving around. How do muscles work? Muscles work by contracting or shortening to cause movement, like a spring or a rubber band. Muscles can only pull, they cannot push. All right, so it's time to think. Put down your pens for a second. It's time to think, not write. You're not going to find this in your notes. Now, here's the thing to think about. Muscles require a lot of energy to contract. In a muscle cell, which organelle is responsible for providing that energy? Remember back from cell structure, when we talked about organelles, there was one organelle that was responsible for energy production. The mitochondria is the power producer for a cell. There are numerous, many, mitochondria inside each muscle cell because muscle cells need to produce lots of energy. Skin cells, on the other hand, don't need nearly as many because the skin's not responsible for producing energy like muscle cells are. There are two types of muscle tissue, and that's based on the way they work, okay? One type of muscle is considered involuntary, and another type of muscle is considered voluntary. On the next few slides, we're going to look at the difference between involuntary and voluntary muscles. Involuntary muscle tissue is muscle tissue that is not under your conscious control. You don't have to think about the things these muscles control. For example, your heart beating is not something you have to think about. Food digesting or breathing, these are not things that you have to think about because these muscles are involuntary muscles. They will go on even if you are asleep or not awake, uh, not thinking. A very different type of muscle tissue is considered voluntary muscle. This is muscle tissue that is under your conscious control. For instance, flexing your arm, your bicep, or walking. Any type of movement where you are thinking about it and you are actually consciously doing something, that muscle that's being used is considered voluntary muscle. Okay, so we've seen that muscles are either voluntary or involuntary. Now we're going to break muscle tissue down into three kinds. There are three types that help us function. First, we have the smooth muscle tissue found in our organs and in our blood vessels. And we also have cardiac muscle tissue only found in the heart. Both of those, the smooth and cardiac muscle tissue, are involuntary. Don't have to think about them. The third type of muscle tissue is your skeletal muscle tissue, which is what you use for movement. These muscles, this tissue is voluntary. It's what you do when you think about moving. Now, all three of these different types of tissue look different because they have different functions in our body, 
different look, different function. On the next slides, we're going to see some pictures of what those tissues look like. The three types of muscle tissue have different looks because they have different functions. Okay, The cardiac muscle tissue is designed to work endlessly all your life. It never stops. So it has characteristics that meet those requirements. Skeletal muscle tissue is designed to work strenuously for a short period of time to, uh, to move your body. Okay. And then smooth muscle tissue, which is what you find in your organs and in your digestive tract, this material is designed to work occasionally, uh, continuously sometimes, but uh, not to be running all the time like your heart or at really, really intense, vigorous moments like skeletal muscle tissue. The three different types of muscle tissue um, have a different look. And they are made of different types of cells. Cardiac muscle has a particular type of cell structure. Uh, skeletal muscle cells have a particular type of cell structure. And smooth muscle cells have a different type of uh, cell structure. And these structures um, are conducive to the function that these types of muscles have to perform. Now here are some details about the different muscle tissues. Cardiac muscle, its structure, it's only found in the heart. It never gets tired. It is involuntary, right? It never gets tired. It has to beat continuously for blood to move through your body. If your heart stops beating, you're dead really, really fast. So it never gets tired. It has to keep working. Um, its function is to cause the heart to beat so that blood can be pumped to the body. This is the muscle tissue in the heart and it's pumping the blood. Skeletal muscle tissue's structure is that it is voluntary, which means you control it, and it tires very, very quickly. All right, skeletal muscle is responsible for your movement, so it is designed to work hard real quick and it just tires out. Functionally, this is what provides the force that moves your bones. In other words, if your bones are moving, then you're moving. So skeletal muscle tissue is the source of the force that moves your bones. Some examples of skeletal muscle are the bicep. When it contracts, the arm will bend towards the shoulder. And in reverse, when the tricep contracts, the arm will straighten. So if you look at the right picture, you'll see that it shows the bicep contracting and the tricep relaxing and stretching. And then when the tricep will contract, the arm will straighten out and the bicep has to relax. That shows how skeletal muscles work in pairs. Smooth muscle tissue in terms of its structure, it lines the inside of your internal organs and your blood vessels, and it tires very slowly, and it is involuntary. Functionally, it provides the force that moves materials through your body. In the stomach and intestines, it helps digest food, and in the blood vessels, it helps move materials through your, your blood vessels. All right, so it's time to talk about homeostasis for muscle tissue. How do the three muscle tissues help with homeostasis? For cardiac muscle tissue, it maintains a constant blood flow to the body. And of course, we need blood for oxygenation. Blood uh, delivers oxygen to the brain. Uh, everything in our body requires oxygen, and that's carried by the blood. The skeletal muscle tissue allows the body to move and it helps the immune system. It's the pump for the immune system. Smooth muscle tissue assists in digestion of food for energy. So all three of these muscle tissues help the body with homeostasis in some form. 
All right, so it's time for a little quickie quiz here. Types of muscle tissue. Question one, choose carefully. What are the three types of muscle tissue? Is it skeletal, red, and white? Cardiac, smooth, and skeletal? Or cardiac, skeletal, and red? So now let's talk about how muscles actually work. They are connected to bones by an elastic-like stretchy strap called a tendon. A tendon is going to be kind of a whiter color compared to the muscle that it's attached with. And, of course, you're going to have a tendon connected at the top and the bottom, at either end of the muscle, because one end has to pull uh, from a stationary source, the second end has to pull the one that's moving. So you're going to a tendon's always going to be connected at each end. Okay. Now because muscles cannot push, they have to work together with another muscle as a pair to move bones. While one pulls, the other relaxes. Now. We may be seeming to repeat this, but it's just really important that you understand that muscles only pull. They cannot push. So there always has to be a matched pair, like biceps contract, tricep relaxes. Bicep relaxes, tricep contracts. All right? It's always a matched pair. All right, a couple more quick questions here. Which type of muscle tissue is voluntary? Is it cardiac, smooth, or skeletal. All right, question number three. What type of muscle never gets tired? Is it cardiac, smooth, or skeletal? All right, now we are going to move to the skeletal system. It's all about the bones. 